Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, September 13th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I expand and deeper my presence towards my soul responsibility. So here we are finishing up, I guess the work week. Friday the 13th. I'm always a fan of Friday the 13th. And today feels like a good day for change. A good day for shifting the narratives. Including the narrative that Friday the 13th is bad luck. Friday the 13th has a lot of energy of the goddess, um, of yin. And it is definitely not bad luck. And it can be whatever you want it to be. But if you look for the miracles, if you look for the opportunities, I guarantee you that you will find them today in this energy. Now, what struck me as I was looking at the astro, besides the fact that we're moving rapidly towards the eclipse coming in on Tuesday, uh, is that we have some Grand Trine Earth. And Grand Trine Earth energy is where we have all the Earth signs activated and... The earth signs activated can feel a little heavy. It can definitely get a little shooty. But, you know, as we're finishing up Pluto and Capricorn, so many things going on right now, as we're finishing this up, it's a call back to power, the power of your soul, the power of your soul plan. Um, empowering that energy bringing you back to your personal sovereignty, to your original blueprint, your life blueprint, why you came here. You came here to be you. And through conditioning and various learnings and just society pressures, we become what more what others want us to be than our full rainbow selves, which I have to say is like, that's the song that was just playing before here. She's a rainbow, but like we're all rainbows. <laughs> like we're all here with multi-faceted, multi-colorful energies that we're meant to bring forth. And I want you to remember that in and through this grand trine earth because you can show up as you always shown up and do the things and work hard. And this energy can make us feel like that. But you can lean into your soul presence. Bring that forward in this sun and Virgo energy. Expand deeper into it and see how that's encouraging you to move through this through this day and into tomorrow, to be fair. Um, tomorrow, Saturday, has a beautiful connection between Venus and Jupiter in the air signs. And I just feel like it's like that energy can feel like a butterfly, like spreading its wings, right? There's some fun, there's some connection in that energy. We move from the earth into air and it feels so much lighter. But you can bring that, you can bring that into today. You can show up in that and spread your big, beautiful butterfly wings, all right? So let's look at the astro. We begin the day not feeling butterfly wingish with uh, the moon in Capricorn squaring Venus in uh, Venus and Libra. And so you may have an opportunity where you find yourself wanting to make peace outside of yourself, taking care of everything outside of yourself, being in the shootiness. And I'm not going to tell you what you should or shouldn't do, but there is a call to change. There is a call for deeper integration of who you are. And are you honoring that? Even if you're just noticing, oh, I'm not really honoring who I am, what I really think, what I really feel. Even just noticing that within yourself is a beautiful preparation for shift. Um, and, you know, Lilith is still hanging out with Venus. Lilith is preparing for the second eclipse, which she is a part of. <laughs> Bringing forth uh, the bolder, I'm going to do me, I'm going to live me kind of energy. And it does take courage. It does take boldness to show up your, as yourself in a world that really likes us to be cookie cutters, right? Um, we then have the sun and the moon. So sun in Virgo, moon in Capricorn energy. 
again, this energy can have us getting a lot done, you know, a big to-do list, and that's great. Do the things, show up, <laughs> but see if you can lean into doing it from that soul level. At the very least, bring that Virgo, body, mind, spirit, soul, and heart all together. Bring forth your presence. Notice where you're not being true to yourself, and there's a lot of places where we do things that are not true to ourselves, probably because sometimes being true to ourselves is not always socially acceptable They're like oh look at that person being weird you know we we judge the weird um moon in capricorn continues on to connect with uranus again this is a trine and you know that uranus energy in taurus it may feel have you feeling triggered especially if you try to, to break free from the norm but there is always breakthrough anytime uranus energy shows up so do watch for that and then we end the day with the moon and Capricorn and Neptune and building into that moon and Pluto energy, which is going to be happening early on Saturday. All of this just feeds into the change. The Neptune energy, it may bring up some past stuff. I've definitely felt that as we're building to this Pisces eclipse, there is definitely karmic stuff showing up. Um, there's definitely karmic chords, karmic lessons that are coming to us to be shifted. So be aware of that. That's going to be on the increase as we move towards this eclipse on Tuesday. And this moon connecting in is feeling it. And then the moon connecting with uh, Pluto early on Saturday. It's 12.35 a.m. Pacific time on Saturday that we have that connection. That's also giving you an opportunity for the transformational work of Pluto. Where do you need to empower yourself? Like I mentioned, I do love the Venus-Jupiter connection that's happening on Saturday. Aquarius, it's so interesting that Aquarius comes right after Capricorn. And it's interesting to me as well that Saturn rules both Capricorn and Aquarius. Aquarius is also ruled by Uranus. And to me, it feels like Learn the rules so you can break the rules. That's one of my favorite things, but I think it's important. Like, it's nice to know how things work because then you have a platform to level up from. And I think that that's what Aquarius does. So our presence, be here now, is needed for Friday because some of this shift work can show up for us on Saturday. Um, is there anything else I want to look at? That Venus and Libra, Jupiter and Gemini energy, definitely very chatty. Be open to making new connections that also may be supporting you in your deeper layers of integration, your deeper layers of shift. Um, that being said, there's a few other cards I didn't show you. Let's see. We have the isolation card. And I think that's part of our fear of it's in reverse our fear of being different is like i'm going to be isolated i'm going to be shunned and unfortunately that does happen sometimes but i think when we can be true to ourselves we are guided to those who are in our soul group who understand who can hold space for the difference so just keep that in mind um Speaking of all this, I have the letting go card for us today from Divine Abundance, and it says, everything is indeed out of control, and God will hold it all, and I can safely let go. So, it's an encouragement to release yourself from the programming, from the conditioning, and dive deeper into the soul. And It's not an overnight thing. It is incremental, but even your awareness and even the intention to move in that direction makes shift and you have to know how powerful that is especially with the hocus pocus virgo focus and the powerful decision energy of the moon in capricorn plus a little uranus thrown in there you know to help with the evolution revolution breakthrough so that's it for today i don't know if i'm showing up this weekend for you know recording um videos or if i'm just gonna do write-ups uh because it is a potent energy as we're moving towards this eclipse so i might be called to show up but otherwise i will definitely have write-ups for you uh please reach out book a reading email me mimi clark at gmail.com for that and besides all that the better it gets the better it gets there's more than enough love in the world for you you have the power and remember who you are for you me all of us we are the solution namaste